What are the different parts of the FTT toroid and how to assemble them? This video is the second in a series of three educational videos that promote the use of the FAO toroid processing technique or FTT toroid. Before watching this video on how to purchase and build the equipment, we strongly recommend that you first watch the first video on the reasons for the development and the benefits of this technique. This video provides relevant information to obtain this technical tool. It is primarily intended for extension agents, fish processors, and any training institution or development program focusing on fisheries. Toroid devices needed by an operator will depend on whether he or she wants to smoke, dry, or practice both, and also on whether or not he or she already has an improved stove on which the FTT toroid parts will be fitted. Therefore, the resources required will differ from one case to another with the final objective of benefiting from better work conditions, placing on the market better quality products, and the possibility of additional revenue through the use of byproducts. In any case, the FTT toroid equipment must be seen within a framework of a compliant processing unit or plant, which implies an adequate engineering and technical design of the facilities to harbor the equipment. The frame, racks, and lids are the same for the two types of equipment, be it the FTT toroid or existing improved kilns. This video will not describe how to make these parts given the number of training materials produced in the last decades by development agencies, including FAO, on the charcoal kiln and on the double compartment cinder block kiln made from brick cement, clay or handled mud. However, a detailed description will be made of the fibrated kiln as it has a longer lifetime and requires less maintenance. Building the vibrated kiln. The decision as to what type of fibrated kiln will be used, whether a charcoal, cinder block or double compartment altona, will depend on usage practices and social acceptance. As when building any kiln, a suitable, well-leveled plot of land is required with a minimum size of at least 5 square meters. It should not be prone to flooding and any source of contamination and pollution. Good materials should be chosen in order to be very resistant to heat. For example, we recommend well-vibrated reinforced concrete with a high concentration of cement. Ideally, the walls will be made very compact by using the appropriate machine. Building stages for the double compartment vibrated kiln are as follows. Dig a 20 cm trench and case it with wooden planks. Then position iron bars inside the trench. Cast the foundation with a mixture of two cement bags, two wheelbarrows of sand and two wheelbarrows of gravel. After a day, the foundation is stripped from its casing. The set of walls and the compartments partition are cased and covered with iron of 6 mm diameter and cast with cement, sand, gravel mixture. The lintel at the gates and the chaining to the upper part are well evidenced. A 7 cm output latch coming from the walls is cast at 20 cm from the chaining of the upper part. For the prototype, the dimensions used were 1 m for the height, 4 m for the internal length and 1 m for the internal width. As for the external length and width, they are respectively 4.4 meters and 1.4 meters. The double compartment vibrated kiln cost about 800 US dollars with an estimated lifetime of at least 15 to 20 years. A kiln made from cement or clay bricks cost about 600 US dollars and has a lifespan of about 10 years. Smoking or drying racks. As noted previously, 
their design is common to those of existing kilns. However, it is worth mentioning that materials should be chosen carefully for easy cleaning and heat resistance. The maximum load per rack for the cinder block is 100 kg against 20 kg for the charcoal. Practical advice would be not to exceed 10 stacked racks. The processor who has this equipment, Killen Plus Racks, will then need to get the relevant accessories to benefit from all the functions the FTT Tiroi offers. Accessories specific to the FTT Tiroi. First accessory, the furnace. Second accessory, the fat collection tray. Third accessory, the external smoke generator. Fourth accessory, the hot air distributor. For drying and storage of dried or smoked fish, the same accessories as those described above will be needed, without an external smoke generator. Apart from the kiln frame, all of the FTT Tiroi equipment, which is mostly made of steel, can be made by blacksmiths or any metal worker. Reviewing in detail the description and manufacturing of each of these FTT Tiroi accessories. First, the amber furnace. It will hold the fuel used to cook the fish. Loading it in the fireplace concentrates the heat on the product instead of having external leakages that might otherwise affect the operator during smoking. This feature also reduces fuel consumption. The furnace should fit the dimensions of the kiln's gate and consists mainly of a 24 to 26 cm high and 1 m wide metal box. It is equipped with four wheels to facilitate its movement towards the opening of the kiln. Cut perforated iron tubes that are welded to the casing and which serve as ventilation air pipes. A removable ash pan, a wire mesh to carry the embers, a forge to kindle the fire and send the hot air inside the kiln. The furnace costs about 200 US dollars with an estimated five year lifespan. The second accessory is the fat collection tray. As its name suggests, this is a system for collecting fat while cooking the fish. It includes a set of holes, each topped with a cone shaped cap. The holes allow the heat from the stove to reach the fish on the rack, and the cone shaped cap allows the fat to exudate to drip on the tray instead of falling into the fire and cause a tar deposit on the product. The size of the fat collection tray is variable. However, it should fit the furnace in which it should be placed. The one used during the trial was one meter long, one meter wide with 10 centimeters wide holes. A short, thin metal rod topped by a cap is disposed on the circumference of each hole. The fat collection tray is slightly tilted and placed 5 cm below the rack with fish. The average cost to manufacture the grease collection system is 100 US dollars, with an estimated lifetime of a minimum of 5 years. The third accessory is the indirect smoke generator system. It is made up of a metal barrel fused to a metal tube that is roughly 1.5 meter long and 30 centimeter in diameter. The metal tube can be shaped into a spiral or into a circular tube depending on the available space. There also is a housing for the filter. This external generator can also be made from a water tank that is no longer used. The housing for the filter is manufactured with a metal sheet. It is circular and must fit perfectly in the middle of the tube. The carpenter also manufactures the casing with 6 cm wide iron. A vegetable sponge used as the filter is placed inside the casing. This is a fine mesh food grade sponge. The casing containing the filter will be placed in the metal housing. 
The fact that it is placed outside the smoking chamber allows the smoke to cool down before it reaches the product, while the smoke decantation effect is produced by the filter inserted in the casing. The average cost to produce an indirect smoke generator is 260 US dollars with an estimated lifetime of a minimum of five years. The final accessory to purchase is the hot air distributor. It is particularly useful when using multiple racks. This system is composed of two metal boxes. Inside each of these, horizontal fins match the number of drying racks and perfectly fit them. The drying racks are stacked and arranged vertically. A metal pipe connects the furnace to the air distribution box to facilitate the air distribution. The hot air can thus circulate on the racks using the furnace's forge. The height of the aerated rack plank goes from 7 to 10 cm and a longitudinal opening is made at a level of 3 cm to let the hot air through during drying. The air distributor has an estimated lifespan of at least three years and costs an average of 95 US dollars. Overall, in terms of costs, the FTT Tioroi accessories are estimated at 560 US dollars for the furnace, fat collector, smoke generator, air distributor set for the smoking, 400 US dollars for the same set without the generator for drying. If you would also like to build a vibrated kiln, you need to plan 800 US dollars for the kiln, besides 400 to 560 dollars for the FTT Tioroi components. All these elements can be built locally and customized depending on the amount of fish and or shellfish to dry and or smoke per day. The next video will show us how to use this highly effective system for drying and or smoking fish products in a uniform, rapid and healthy way.